Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hey there, I'm going to be talking about a classic for me, one of my favorite movies, Jaws. One of my favorites and arguably one of the best movies ever made. I think it deserves to be up there, even if it's just an argument or a subjective view. It changed so much at the time for me would be the re-release in 1979 but it was released in 1975 the highest grossing film ever until Star Wars I believe in 1977 it is directed by Steven Spielberg and it stars Roy Scheider Robert Shaw Richard Dreyfuss Lorraine Gary Murray Hamilton I mean, there's so much good about this movie. Even Lorraine Gary, who plays the wife of Brody, <laughs> Roy Scheider, seems to glow on screen for me. Maybe she was pregnant at the time. I'm not sure. But just everything works. The sound, the music, it just amazes me. It holds up to this day for me and for many people I know. Just a outright great film. When you think about its opening, its box office smash, the template for summer blockbuster, watch the making of documentary and you will be amazed at how much shit they had to deal with to make this movie. Spielberg's near defeat and utter chaos with this movie being made it's fascinating i recommend watching it i've watched it maybe half a dozen times at least probably more because i watched this movie you know 30 or 50 times probably it's a go-to movie for me all the time now i'm not really a fan of beaches and swimming unless you say you know hanging out in your friend's backyard and diving into the pool and pushing off from one side to the other, then yeah, I, I like to swim. But I don't like the ocean going swimming. I don't swim very well. And just the whole sand shit hitting your feet in the water is not for me. So I knew I, you know, I wasn't like afraid of sharks after that, although I have a general fear of sharks. That's normal. But it changed so much. I knew friends in school who were terrified of sharks. I would show this one girl the cover of the VCR rental when you went to your local VC, uh, video store before Blockbuster. And then we'd get terrified. The thought of it just scared the shit out of people. And it was widespread. I mean, I live in Brooklyn, New York, and it's a big city, you know, we're connected to borough, but this is worldwide, what a, what a trend, what a uh, staple it put on society, so looking back, I watched it recently, I don't even find little nitpicks about it, I mean, what, the, the mayor's jacket in a scene might be dated, but it doesn't matter when you got the sea, a boat, you know, your three main characters who are behind the scenes fucking with each other on on set, coming up with l classic lines, uh, ad-libs that are world famous, will f forever live in the history of cinema. What is not to like about this movie? I guess you look at it from a point of view like, yeah, scary horror. These movies don't appeal to me anyway. Fine. I get it. But if you're a fan... I don't see how you look at this and unless you analyze it from some fucking uh, society type thing and go into um, there were no black people represented in the film or uh, you know how it differed from the book because the book came out in 1974 Peter Benchley 
So, yeah, I guess you could analyze it from that and maybe look back on it and go, ah, well, it's just, you know, a white person's film and it had this uh, social class thing that they didn't really show in the movie and it went for a blockbuster theme and, okay, fine, you know, I guess there's a debate for that. But I give no fucks. I love this fucking movie. It's up there with The Thing for me. I mean, some of the classics like Indiana Jones and Star Wars. It just it, it just can, continues to be a shining spot in a, in a history of movies that I grew up with. I try to look at it uh, critically and it just, just doesn't... I get wrapped in the movie. There's no sitting there watching it almost for me. I guess that could be a nitpick and a, a thing in itself. I have such a bias for it. It's got charm. It's got humor. It's got thrills. It's scary as shit at times. The music is groundbreaking. And when you figure out or find out when you watch behind the scenes, like how much they shot, they wanted to show the shock and they couldn't. It made for a great classic movie I recommend anybody who's never seen Jaws just fucking watch it amazing now the, the part part 2 I give it pass to I like it a lot I love it uh, I could see some of the more flaws in it and then from there on Jaws 3 and 3D and it fucking somehow follows the wife around and eats the children eventually or some shit, but I have watched those too, and I'm not going to sit here and defend them in them. Give them any props. Jaws 1, one of the greatest movies ever, I agree. Jaws 2, super fun movie, great sequel. Not one of the greatest movies of all time, but enjoyable enough. But I don't know if I could hammer enough the point of being a kid, so I'm five years old when it comes out, four or five, and then I'm eight or nine when I brought to see it, the legacy of VCR and rentals afterwards, it was so big in a way that you wouldn't expect it to be. I mean, you expect Star Wars to be capturing children's attention around the world and... um falling in love with your heroes you know you got the jedi and the the scoundrel and the princess this movie was just to me it's an example of a, a chaos coming together into order just all they had to do to get this movie made and it's similar to star wars in in the sense i guess where when you look back at it or look into it george lucas's product was touted as uh, garbage and it took John Williams and editors and a a, a team effort to make it what it is so uh, in a sense that happened in this you had uh, actors and um, production crew pitching in together and danger on the seas and equipment with water and sharks that don't fucking work and everything would go wrong money uh, delays but when you look at the product, it is fucking amazing. I'll never forget the time in my life being a kid, what Jaws bring to home video, to events watching it, to when it was put on TV. Just uh, captures that magic moment. Never forget it. Watching it over and over, even now, being somewhat of a pretend critic in my own way. I just love this movie. Just can always watch it. We'll watch it and fuck things over. Like, I got something to do. It comes on. Well, I'll make an excuse and I'm, I'm watching Jaws. So, one of the greatest, in my opinion... And I've watched things like that are considered the greatest movies ever. And I can give people props for particularly liking something that is favorable to them. And I will critically give props 
those movies deserve to be there too. But for someone like me who loves horror, it just fits. It, it was just perfect storm. Watch Jaws or else. Stay healthy, everybody. And I'll talk to you all soon.